free. I wish I had a witness here. Somebody who could testify that we are free from indoctrination. Now, I'm free from you just telling me stuff. And I got to believe it just because you said it. And you don't want me thinking in the pew because I'm going to find out that you're just a trickster with a clergy collar. I wish somebody would declare that we are free from indoctrination. Now, free from assimilation. Now, and free from trying to imitate others. I just got to pause here for a second and tell you that God loves you just as you are. You don't have to in, uh, imitate anybody else. You can walk in your own uniqueness. Come here, David. And I see David trying to slay Goliath. And David tells Saul, I cannot defeat this giant in your armor. But I've got to go with my own slingshot and five smooth stones. And the Lord told me to tell you this morning that you are free. Free to live and free to give. Freedom to somebody else. And if you are freed by God and you're not passing freedom on, then you're going to fool around and get freedom taken from you. Because when you dig a ditch for somebody else, you'll end up falling in it. I wish I had a witness right here. I know you don't like it, but the Lord told me that the way for you to preserve your freedom is to pay it forward. Because when you free somebody, they will free somebody. And then they will free somebody. And then they will free somebody. That's how we overcome one day. One soul at a time. One word of encouragement at a time. I've come to tell somebody who's dealing with being bound this morning that God has given you enough energy to free yourself. I've got to pause here for a second. You don't need nobody else. You can free yourself. Let me say it like this. I know that this is not proper. But one of my favorite singers is Fantasia. And she's got a song that I love to listen to. And it's a song to a brother who didn't want to be with her. And she said to him, if you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Go ahead and free yourself. Spoke to me, and the Lord told me to tell you that you got to learn how to free yourself. Some of that stuff that you're dealing with is your choice. You can come out on your own. That's what Beyonce tried to tell you when she said, You won't break my soul because I'll quit this job. I wish I had a witness here. You won't break my soul free myself. Well, I don't leave you when I tell you this one last story. Everybody that knows me knows that I have a dog named Bishop. And when I first got Bishop, they told me that I needed to crate train him in order to get him to submit. Well, I put Bishop in the crate and Bishop would start crying. And my heart would melt and I'd bring Bishop out then call the trainer that I paid a hundred dollars to train him and fuss at the man and he said listen if you don't follow the instructions yourself the dog will never listen but oh one Sunday morning I had to leave the house for the first time that I had a dog to go preach and I put Bishop in the cage and he started crying and I got in the car and I said well brother you just gonna have to hang out for a while because I'm going to church but when I came back home and walked 
into the kitchen before I got in the laundry room where his cage was. There was a whole lot of trash all over the kitchen. And I went and started calling his name. He was hiding up under the bed. I started trying to figure out how in the world did this dog get out of the cage? So I bought a nanny cam. And the next Sunday, I watched him stick his paw out the chain. Stick his paw out the cage. Lift up the hook and pull it over to the left. And then took his other paw and knocked the door open. I'm gonna tell somebody. Just watch the one that has control over you. You would be able to free yourself. Jesus already gave you the key. You like my dog. Roll back the latch. Open the cage and free yourself. Can you help me testify? Mail your contributions into the church at 21 Curve Street, West Newton, Massachusetts. 